Hey boys and girls. So today we are going to draw a food truck. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to where there's lots of food trucks, uh, but food trucks are probably one of my favorite places to go because there's always such a variety of food if they're having like a food truck night. <laughs> so all food trucks are trucks that have been converted into kitchens that can travel. So to start our truck, first thing we need are some wheels. So I'm using my pencil. I'm freehanding this. Um, you want pretty small wheels. You want them to be about the same size. And then you want them to be kind of on the same level. After that, I want to draw the bed of my truck. So the straight part going across. And then I'm going to add the cargo area of my truck place that you do cooking in and then I'll add the front of the truck with the engine and the steering wheel and all that so there's the basic shape uh, you can pause and rewind I'm going to add an awning this is how I do an awning do two diagonal lines coming off of it with a bunch of W's in between that creates an awning I'm actually going to end up changing that awning to something more flat across but right here. I'm just kind of giving you the basic of this truck. After you've drawn this basic part, you can add whatever you want to your truck. You can make it a cupcake truck. You can make it a hot dog truck. I'm going to make mine a ramen noodle truck because I love ramen noodles. I love uh, vegan ramen noodles. Ooh, delicious. So here I'm adding the details, the little uh, windows, the big order window. Maybe some like menus underneath the window. And then I'm going to start really adding the details. And from this point on, I feel like you guys can add the details however you want to add them. All right, now that I have my picture pretty much the way I want it, I'm going to outline it in Sharpie. Now I'm using a big chisel tip Sharpie. I don't have enough of these to share with you guys. So I'm going to give you guys regular tip Sharpies. You can do the same thing. I wouldn't advise coloring it in though. Use, you want to get some markers too. So use the black marker if you want to color it in. You can also outline it in the black marker if your Sharpie isn't working. But I'm outlining everything in Sharpie, all the lines I drew. Now I drew a bunch of sketchy lines and when I outline, I'm using a thick solid line to give it kind of a final look. So I don't want to do the sketchy lines when I'm going over in Sharpie. I want to do it a solid concentrated line.
Now, before I color it in with uh, markers, I'm going to erase it. I do have erasers for you guys to use. Uh, you're going to erase all your pencil lines. And then you can use the markers to color over top and make this into your food truck. So when I color in with markers, though, I don't scribble. Notice how I'm doing straight lines. When it comes time to color in, I have my lines overlap. So watch how I do this. I'm coloring in. I don't scribble a lot. I go side by side with the chisel side of my uh, marker over and over and over again. This is really sped up really fast. This uh, picture took me about 45 minutes to draw. <laughs> I sped this up so it only takes nine minutes. So you're missing a lot of the, uh, the steady pace that I usually go to color mine in. But when I color it in, I go side by side by side with my lines. And if we have time, I do have the, uh, you can watercolor paint over top of your marker. So you just use a wet brush and it kind of blends the colors in. I don't know if we're gonna have time, but we could try it if we do, maybe next class. Now I'm showing you this, uh, but we probably won't do it in class because when I was trying it, it didn't work out too well. Uh, the marker doesn't blend very well and it just really makes a mess. But if we have some time, maybe later on down throughout the year, we can do this. But I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, if you have time, draw a background and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.